Hi there, this is Andy from GNA Numerical with another QTS maths test demo video. Today we'll look at currency conversions, which causes all kinds of trouble for many, many students, but there's really no need to stress over these types of questions if you follow the method I'm about to show you. So question one, we'll start with a mental arithmetic currency conversion question. So this is a very typical type of question that you might be asked. So what have we got? We've got entry cost to a museum in France is six euros. Your job is to work out what is the cost in pounds for a school party of 20 people, assuming that five pounds is equivalent to eight euros. So the first thing we have to do is work out how much money got spent and then think about converting that into pounds. So that's just the six euros times by 20 people. So six times two would be 12. So six times 20 is 120 euros. So 120 euros is our target amount. And you always, with this type of question, write down the conversion rule that they give you within the question. So here, that means eight euros is equivalent to five pounds. We're going to use that to work up to our target, which we now know is 120 euros. So if you can think of it in one go, it's fantastic because it's so quick. But we have to think of a number to times eight by to get up to 120. If we can find out what that number is, we just match that on the other side of this equation to get to the answer in pounds. But if you're stumped and you don't know what to multiply by, well, just do it in stages. So let's times by 10 first. So 8 times 10 is 80. We match it on the other side. So 5 times 10 is 50. So now we've learnt that 80 euros is the same as 50 pounds, but we haven't quite reached our target yet. But we're almost there. Using that, we can infer that, well, 40 euros, which would take us to our target of 120. Now, 40 euros has got to be just 25 pounds because we've already worked out that 80 euros is 50 pounds. So we can add these together and now know that 120 euros is 75 pounds, which is the answer. An alternative method, if you don't like this one, because it, it would take a little bit of practice, but the, the more traditional way of attempting this question would be like this. So once again, you start with the conversion rule that you're given. That one doesn't change. And then you say, OK, how much, how many pounds is one euro? Well, one euro would be five eighths of a pound. And all you're doing there is you're using this equation and you're dividing both sides of it by eight. So 8 divided by 8 gives you the pound. 5 divided by 8 is what we've just written there. So 1 euro equals 5 eighths of a pound. But we're interested in 120 euros. So 120 euros has to be 120 times by 5 eighths. So now you're left with working out this, which is a bit daunting with the, the clock ticking down on you. But we can still do it. So we have to do 120 divided by 8 which is a bit tricky to do in your head, it's 15. And we times that by what we see on the top of the fraction, which is just 5. So 15 times 5 is 75, which is what we had over here. So I think that the left method is, is easier, but you might prefer this one. So please use the method that you like the best and, and tell me which one works for you. So question two gets a bit tougher now because we're looking at an unusual currency, which they sometimes do just to throw you a little bit. But don't be daunted by it. The same method will get you to the answer. So with question two, we've got a skiing trip to Switzerland costing 625 Swiss francs. What is the cost in pounds if one pound is equivalent to 2.5 Swiss francs? So our target is 625 francs. And we write out the conversion rule, same as last time. 2.5 francs is equal to one pound. And we use that as our conversion rule to work up to our target number. So 2.5 is very, very much smaller than 625. And we've got a nasty decimal there. So we want to get rid of that decimal. So we could times by 10 and then be on 25, but we're still quite far away. So I'm going to times by 100 
to get 250 francs and match it on the other side of the equation is equal to 100 pounds. So we've still got some way to go, but you know we're getting there. What about if I double it now? 250 times two, well that's 500. 500 francs, now we double the 100. We have to match everything we do on this side of the equation with the other side, 200 pounds. So we're getting closer, 500 francs is 200 pounds. How short are we? We're 125 francs short but we can infer what that is because 250 francs is 100 pounds and 125 francs is just half as much. So the remaining 125 francs which we need must be equal to 50 pounds. So we've done the hard work now. So 500 and 125 is reaching the target that we're looking for. 625 francs equals 200 plus 50 250 pounds. We can use the same alternative method. It gets a bit messy, but let's try it and see where it takes us. So again, we start off with the same conversion rule. 2.5 francs is a pound. So that means one franc is equal to one divided by 2.5. But we don't want one franc, we want 625 francs. So 625 francs is equivalent to 625 times 1 divided by 2.5. So we have to try and do this one in our head, which is a bit nasty. So I suppose I would do 625 times by 1 and then divide by 2.5. It's a bit nasty, but that becomes 625 divided by 2.5. And here I would just make an equivalent fraction to make it a bit easier because this, this decimal business here is, is not good for us. So here I times top and bottom by 2 to get 1250 divided by 5. I still don't like that very much. I'm going to double them again to get 2500 divided by 10, which is a bit easier to deal with. We can just cross off those zeros. And there we go. We've got 250 divided by 1. 250 pounds, which is the same as what we had over here, but hopefully you agree this method is a bit easier. Okay, so we've reached question five of the general arithmetic currency conversion questions. If you're viewing this video on YouTube, you will have noticed that we've skipped out a few questions. If you want to view those videos, you'll need to subscribe to my QTS Numeracy Essentials course site which is available on my e-learning site and I'll put the link to that up at the end of the video. That gives you access to additional practice tests and other demo videos. You can also ask me any maths question you like via the forum area and I'm usually able to respond within 24 hours or so. Anyway, back to business. Question five, we've got a pupil who takes 250 pounds on a school trip to South Africa. He exchanges £220 at an exchange rate of £1 equals 16.35 Rand. He spends this much Rand and then exchanges the balance of the Rand back into pounds at this rate. Okay, fine. So how much money does he have upon returning home? Okay, probably uh, it's a good idea of these wordy questions to read uh, the last sentence first, so the one with the question mark. So how much money does he have upon returning home? And then read all this stuff because that might make you engage with the question a bit quicker. So as always with these questions, it's going to be key to identify the exchange rate. So the question says 16.35 Rand is equivalent to a pound and he exchanges 220 pounds. So we have to multiply 16.35 times by 220. So let's do that on the calculator, seeing as we're allowed to use it. So if I type 16.35 multiplied by 220, press return, that's 3,597 Rand. Okay. Um, we're told he spends this much Rand, so that's 2,989.80. Okay, that's a very exact amount. 
and that means he's left with 607.2 uh, rand okay fine then what does he do he exchanges that balance back into pounds at a rate of 17.25 to the pound so notice that exchange rate has changed from when he when he first changed up his money he get he at a later date he's changing it back again this is a different exchange rate so don't be fooled into using this again we have to use this exchange rate so okay that's easy as dividing by 17.25 so let's do that And we've got 35.2 so that's 35 pounds and 20 pence so let's write that down but is that the answer we need it's actually not because there's a bit of a sting in the tail with this question so notice he takes 250 pounds with him on the school trip but he doesn't exchange all of it he only exchanges 220 pounds so he left an extra 30 pounds aside for whatever reason who knows personal reasons but the amount of money he has upon returning home we have to account for that so that's an extra 30 pounds so of course he's got 65 pounds and 20 pence so that would be the correct answer so that's all for now i hope you enjoyed the video if you were viewing on youtube and you wanted to access my e-learning website so you can do that with the link below so you can type in all that stuff or just Google search us GNA numerical and our information will come up. For any of my existing students on the QTS Essentials course, if you've got any issues with the solutions to any of these questions, just let me know via the forum area and I'll try and clarify as quickly as I can. Thanks for now and thanks for watching.